CGI guys, my name is John White and welcome to this first basic tutorial. In this tutorial we're gonna make a bullet and that bullet we're gonna use in part 2 of this series. If you have in Blender you can download it at blender.org and you can just press this button and you find your Blender file here. So, so once you install Blender you open a Blender and you found something like this. Before we go into modeling and texturing, we have to change a couple of settings. First of all, always switch from Blender Render to Cycle Render. What does Cycle Render mean? Well, it gives us way more options as you can see in this menu here. It's just, it's better. It's, this is just silly. This, this is good. So, I want, so keep that in mind. Anyways, after that you go to File, User Preference and go to Input properly on here go to input and under presets you find a couple of buttons well first of all if you want to select things in blender you select it with right I can show you that so you select I select your camera select your light with my right oh I can show you that off as you can see right here I select with a right that's a kind of weird for programs. Normally you select with your left button. So you can change that in user preference and you can select here with which button you want to select. The next thing is not everyone has a mouse with a scroll wheel. Um, so you can emulate that and a numpad if you have a keyboard like this one. As you can see I don't have numpads around here. So I choose to emulate my numpad and now uh, the numbers on my uh, on my keyboard are the numpads so save user settings if you're happy with your settings and then we can go into modeling of our bullet so we go into the modeling before we go into model we need to delete those guys we don't need a cube so we press X or we press, we select the light, delete, like this. Okay, we have now some space to work with. We go to add mesh cylinder. So, like this. Now, um, we can't edit it in object mode, but we can edit in edit mode. I press tab for that. So tab, you switch from obje object to edit mode, as you can see. You can also use this menu. Um, what can you do in edit mode? Well, this is where you model your objects. And you can model your vertices, as you can see here. You can model your edges, as you can see here. And you can model your faces, as you can see here. So, what we're going to do is we press E to extrude. And we're going to press S to scale it down. And we're going to do that a couple of times. Press E and S and E and S and E and S and E and S like that and magically our bullet is there so we have our bullet right here so now we go into texturing our bullet if you want to texture your bullet you need to go to this panel right here give it some extra space like that and press new so, right now it's a diffuse and that's just diffuse, it's just normal, it's just no gloss, just nothing, it's just a color. As you can see, it's, you can change it. By the way, this is the shading of your viewport. Right now it's solid and everything is just white, it's just only showing off your shape. If you, if you go to material, you can see what the materials look like. Right now it's weird purple, uh, pink. <laughs> uh, okay, moving on. I don't know colors. Uh, <laughs> we go to our. Uh, I'm gonna split this window. Sorry. Um, I'm gonna split this window, and we go to Node Editor. Welcome to Blender. Node Editor is Blender. This looks so complicated. I understand. And I, when I started Blender, I dodged always the Node Editor. I didn't want to learn it. Because it it's looks it looks really difficult, but it's so important to learn it. If you can learn Node Editor, you can learn how to make photorealistic uh, results. So I'm gonna explain a little to you. 
first of all, as I told you, this is a diffuse. This is our shader. And this is the output. So, by the way, I'm gonna change this to rendered. And as you can see, this is definitely not really good. We need to add some light, because we don't have light here. First of all, I'm gonna add a ground plane, by the way. I press Z to go to wireframe, so you can see true things. Z again to go to solid. I'm gonna add this ground plane, and I'm gonna add lamp a uh, point, like uh, this. So we have a little bit of light right now, but I think it's not enough. We press sun, and we're gonna increase that a little bit like that, or increase, just make it less, like this. Okay, and this is weird. I'm gonna change. What I did is uh, press R to rotate it and press Y to rotate it on the Y axis. Okay. Okay, that's better lightning. Now I can see it. And as you can see, this is just solid white. We don't want that. We want to make an iron shader or a gold shader, something like that. So uh, we're gonna select our bullet like this and we're gonna go look at here I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger so we can see it better okay in this panel we're gonna change it to glossy and what does glossy we can also look at here this is almost a mirror as you can see if we render this it's a mirror it reflects everything um, that's what we need we need a reflective goldy Brown, bronze, I don't know what we <laughs> what iron it is. Uh, we're gonna add an image texture. So you go to add texture, image texture. We press open and there it is. And we're gonna select this gold thing. Let's see what it does. It does nothing because we have to <laughs> do the color into this color. Okay. As you can see, this is changed. It has color now. But the problem is, it hasn't color on this one. Why? Because Blender doesn't know how you want to use this image. It just don't know. So we have to, this is a 2D image and this is a 3D object. So we don't know how to match that. So first we have to do is go to tab, press A to select everything two times like select everything and press U and because this is a cylinder we're gonna do cylinder protection okay we go to tab again and we go to render it again and as you can see now the image is on there okay nice what we're gonna do this is way too reflective as you can see this is it's impossible so we're gonna make it a little bit rougher Okay, like this. And then we go to shader, mix shader. Gonna add that one. Add shader and then diffuse. Gonna add that one. Like this. And it show like that. Okay. And we're gonna do it like this. It needs to be a lot of glossy and not so much diffuse as you can see. So this is a mix shader, you can mix shaders. Wow, it's amazing. But this is actually way too smooth. There is no way it's so so beautifully for uh, I don't know what I'm talking about. Please help me. Anyways, we're gonna uh, select color, mix RGB. And this color we're gonna do into the displacement. And we're gonna select this one and press shift D again and we make this from color to non-color data this color goes in color number two going really fast right now we press multiply and we're gonna set it a little bit down and as you can see what I did I did a displacement and a displacement makes bumps and, and gaps and, and, and other things into your uh, material so you don't have to model that it just automatically and as you can see that looks really nice Okay, um, second of all, as you can see, you can see 
the faces and that's really ugly you can see the face is really good so we're gonna set this with our object selected to smooth so that will improve it really much really a lot I have to say by the way I'm not happy with the UV unwrapping it's it goes in a weird way so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna UV wrap it again so we go to object mode gonna select or bullet we go to edit mode again select everything and press UV and this time I think I'm just gonna do uh, smart UV unwrap set this a little bit up let's see how that looks material is enough that is way straighter that is better that's really better okay nice so I think it's still way too glossy I'm gonna give it some roughness no I'm just gonna add some diffuse no, no I have to look tweak with this a little bit um, okay that's fine for now uh, also a little bit less displacement okay well I'm fine with this okay I'm fine with this okay nice now we have modeled something really good job you modeled something let's uh, drag this a little bit up and go underneath it we're gonna delete this plane we don't need it anymore go away plane I hate you and we're gonna do the uh, uh, bottom of our thing uh, b b of our bullet yes and uh, we go to edit mode and we go to Z solid and we only select this little bottom right here we're gonna press U and we go to unwrap okay we're gonna go to tab again object mode and we're gonna buy our materials panel at uh, add a new material a new like this and we go to sorry we go to edit mode again and we press assign with or bullet plane selected okay how does it look well like this okay I can also do material so I see the material that's right okay um once again we do the same setup as uh, uh, what we did uh, a couple of minutes ago we're just going to do image I'm gonna do it is really fast open up I've got a fear oh, that's the wrong one give me a second to get it and we can choose this one and we're gonna shift D again oh I'm not gonna do the same set of weight I'm gonna do something different we're gonna do a normal map so I open a normal map set this to non-colored data and we're gonna go to factor and then normal map and what is a normal map a normal map is a special image that is specially created for the bumps and gaps so normally we did a displacement but this normal map is more accurate so we're gonna use this normal map not every texture has a normal map but is it if it have use it it's really good it's really good so um, we got to do the color in this color and we go to normal to normal and as you can see it has bumps and gaps so by the way, this should be also a glossy. So why I, I, I need to change this to glossy. Yay, that is way too much gloss. So we're gonna tweak the roughness a little bit. Okay, we're still in edit mode. And as you can see, this back of this bullet isn't lined up properly. So we go to switch this node editor to UV image editor. Then we go to select here or bullet back bullet bottom and we press G to line it up we press S to scale it down and as you can see this is not a good circle so we need to scale it and press Y oh the other one scale X we need to press X and now it's lined up right as you can see let's see how that looks that doesn't look that bad okay let's see how it works with the lightning okay that's nice so we're gonna rotate it X we're gonna press add mesh a plane because we want to have a background plane again and this is your bullet so that was the tutorial, I hope you liked it. I'm not really good at making tutorials, but I really love to do it. It's really fun. I hope you love it up. Anyways, uh, <laughs> that was it. 
In part 2, we're gonna uh, use this bullet to make a slow motion bullet time. If I have footage, it comes right now. If I have footage, so maybe this was my effort. Part 2 is coming not next week. Next week I'm gonna make something really awesome. A teaser is already in his channel. Click here. I, no, I didn't do that. I'm lazy. No, okay. Just in the description or something. Anyways, uh, next time we're gonna make a, a really awesome uh, commercial with liquids and soda commercial. Uh, something uh, simulation, that kind of stuff. Uh, it's really advanced. Um, hope you like it and um, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.